Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and I'm speaking to you from Amish country in Oklahoma. And here comes an Amish vehicle down Highway 48 right now. And it's something about the Amish that I would like to speak of at this moment, and that is that they are a religious group that has very restrictive doctrines, and that this is something that holds them together, makes them separate from the outside world. I hope they don't see me taking a picture of them right now. Not that they can do anything about it. But it is regarding the Amish that I would like to speak right now. Sorry, I don't have my hat on right now. You would probably think that I would have nothing except scorn for a restrictive religious doctrine that makes them so separate from the outside world makes them so different, that they insist on using a carriage instead of cars, that they insist on wearing certain kinds of clothing. And, however, I'm not going to completely criticize that. Because the strongest thing about the Amish community is community. They, in fact, do support each other. They work together. And so it's very difficult for somebody to leave the Amish community simply because they are a community, and if they're alone on the outside world, they find out what it's like to be a free economic agent, and to have to go it alone. They find out what it's like, and they don't like it, and the young people who are allowed their period of rumspringa come back to the community, because it is a community. Now, normally, I would, in fact, criticize that kind of restrictiveness that shackles the mind. But I want to say something positive about it right now, and this is something that shows part of the power of human community and cultural evolution. And that is that the Amish are the only group of people that I know of who actually think about technology before adopting it. For the rest of the world, as soon as technology becomes available, it is adopted. It instantly becomes required just a few months, perhaps, perhaps years, after it is even available. I have found that to be the case here. I am on YouTube, for example, and I blog, and things like that. And I have to do that. I have a website, for example. I feel like I have to do that, but the Amish actually get together in their churches, and they think about the technologies that they want to adopt. They think about them individually. Some of them they adopt. For instance, the Amish here in central Oklahoma, south central Oklahoma, use diesel tractors. They don't use cars and trucks, but they use diesel tractors. Sometimes they will hitch rides from their, as they call them, English neighbors, but they don't use the cars themselves. Well, very well, that's true. But they think about each technology before they adopt it. And as a, re as a matter of fact, they take very good care of their land because they think about it as a gift from God. And you've got to admire a group of people who actually are very careful about thinking about the technology that they adopt. I think that that's something that would make our world a much better place. Not to say no to all new technology, but if we would, in fact, think about the technology that we adopt individually for each piece of technology and for each new process, then the ecology of the world would be much better. This is Charles Darwin. Tally ho and amen. And I'm going to show you another Amish vehicle as it's coming down the road. Here we go. I'm going to start driving. This is Charles Darwin, tally ho, and I'm in.